I'm Annabelle and this is my brain cancer story. My husband Josh was diagnosed with a grade 3 astrocytoma in 2008. Over the last 10 years Josh has had pretty much every type of treatment that you can, you can get. We saw so many different professionals throughout our brain cancer journey. We saw throughout the nine years the same oncologist from pretty much the start. He started off with one oncologist which he had uh, for probably about six months of his brain cancer journey and then we met Lawrence and he changed our whole experience. I couldn't thank him enough for the experience that he gave us. It was a collaborative relationship. It was beautiful. We were so open. We trusted him with everything and we knew that he was doing the best for Josh. He would try everything. He tried, every, he tried everything he could think of, even up to two weeks before Josh passed away, he was still trying different medications. And when he told us that there was pretty much nothing else that could be done, we trusted him then too. And even given the nature of that sort of news, we were still at peace with that because we trusted him so much. Um, we didn't have to turn to Google, we didn't have to try and get another opinion, we just knew that that was all that could be done and we just enjoyed the time that we had left together, which really at the end of the day what we were given was the gift of time. And the nursing staff um, at the Epworth Hospital just made that experience easy for us. Our goal was to get him home and everyone worked for that purpose. So, you know, I was on the phone to the social worker every single day. The occupational therapist came over to measure the house. We had home visits. We, we were troubleshooting all sorts of things and everyone was working to try and make that happen. And we just felt like we were in just the best hands. And when Josh moved wards, all of the beautiful um, all of the beautiful staff from the rehab ward came and visited, which was really special. And I think Josh had such a magnetic personality that people wanted to come and be with him and people really loved him. And we found the medical team became a second family for us. You absolutely gave Josh everything that you had. You treated him like a brother, a son, a friend. You treated us like family and it gave us a dignified, beautiful, peaceful, calm experience and extreme closure at the end for us. And for anyone else out in the community that's watching this or, or, or looking down the barrel of anything, I would say that you can trust the people around you, they are here for you and we really, really felt that. So thank you very much. I guess if there's anyone in particular I'd like to send a message to, it's definitely our oncologist. Um, he just made our experience something that was calm and peaceful and dignified. And the amount of trust that we had in him gave us the time to spend together and not worrying about decisions, options, whether or not we were getting the proper treatment, all that kind of thing. But, um, and another particular person is, of course, Josh's surgeon, who just absolutely gave Josh everything that he had and gave us everything that he had. And I remember one time him coming into the room and sitting down with, um, with the family and explaining to the family from 2008 diagnosis to now exactly what had happened with surgical interventions and bits and pieces so we knew exactly why this was happening what was happening what we could be in for and for him to sit down with us and take the time at that point to explain to us what was going on given that he had done everything that he could that was incredible that was really really special